Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 26 of the Sharpshooters Podcast. I'm your humble and gracious host, Mr. Brinsky Sharp, aka Mr. B Sharp on the ones and twos and threes and fours and the fives and the six. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since we had every last one of the guys in the house. A lot of guys been working hard, ladies and gentlemen. But look at them. They all in the house. <laughs> they all in the house, ladies and gentlemen. They all in the house. Oh, look at this man. This man. Oh, I'm gonna get to him in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, the lawyer still at work in a in a t-shirt, <laughs> thugged out. <laughs> Mr. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize. Are you? <laughs> yeah. What's up, my dog? Not much, dog. Not much. Glad to be back. And ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Controversy himself, ladies and gentlemen. You see what he you see how he dressed up. Boy, the boy look, the boy look official. You see that turtleneck? Hey man. You see that <laughs> turtleneck, ladies and gentlemen. Had to go back corporate on him, dog. You already know. <laughs> what this man look like. This man look like he a part of a D9 somewhere, boy. This boy just look like he a part of a D9, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. Atlanta Braves himself. Hey, this Tom. is the Haven Morning. What's going on, dog? What up, man? We back. We back. Another week. Oh, Let's yeah. Get it. Ladies and gentlemen. We blessed. Mr. Skybox himself. The smoothest guy of them all. <laughs> Ain't no honorary about this man at all. Made man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. Straight up. <laughs> Mr. GQ. My boy Quint. What's going on, man? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on, dog? Man, I'm back too, man. And basically, the man himself. You already know who he is, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen him on here plenty of times. He a good brother. May have taken your girl back in the day. You never know. Woo! A false sis boy. Tailgate Kings. Oh, it's going, it's going up, man. They just don't know what when football season comes, man. It's about to get crazy. My brother. My big brother. Yes, what's going on, my brother? What's going on, fellas? What's going on? Glad to be back again. And I ain't even about to uh, hold off. We're going to jump right into it, man. So everybody know one of the biggest stories in all of the sports world, not even the sports world, even just the world, period. Mr. Cameron Newton, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> man, so... And what made this so funny, man, uh, my little cousin, uh, they have a 7-on-17 uh, that was out there. Shout out to them boys, man. They won uh, under 15. I think they won the under 18, too, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I forgot uh, the name of the team, but the uh, company is Dynasty U. Boys doing big things. They're going to be one of the big names in the sport one of these days. So shout out to Zarian, his partner. But Cam getting into it with these, I thought was kids at first. But these grown men getting slung around like rad dolls out here. And I'm going to let you guys go first on how you feel about the incident. And then I'll say what I want to say about it. But anybody can go. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> bro, you should have punched them kids, bro. You want to be real about it. They, <laughs> but they're not kids. Care. Oh, like, even, oh that's even better. No, bro, no, said, no, no. They're grown, they're grown men. They were coaches. <laughs> and, oh, you should have punched both of them. They 5'5". And, five, five. and I try, I'm going to uh, show the video in a second. Uh, one of the coaches he was hating on him <laughs> before the incident, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hating on Cam. But what's your thoughts on it? But no, nah, he a coach. You should you should have punched both. Should have punched everybody. Just bro, that NFL strength different, bro. And 
I don't know why they be they disrespect Cam so much on his at his seven oh sevens, bro. Regardless of what you may think, Cam is an NFL MVP quarterback who took a team that didn't have a great offense to a Super Bowl. Bruh, he can give you some game. He's a he's a collegiate champion. Bruh, he could give you some game. And instead of taking the game, man, everybody's so interested in talking trash, disrespecting this man, coaches running up. Like, that's so stupid, bruh. Yeah, bro. He's 6'5", easily 250. Bruh, them boys is like 5'5", 180. <laughs> bruh, he should have punched everybody. Punch. He ripped one guy's little dread <laughs> out, bruh. He should have punched everybody, bruh. I would have tackled somebody. I would have kicked somebody. Anyway, man, I don't know, bro. That's that's really stupid. That's really stupid. I really got not not too much to say about it. Cam should have hurt everybody. <laughs> man, from what yeah. I saw, what I saw, man, uh, it was just crazy, dog. It was other chaos. Uh, it looked like Cam was getting into it with two people at first. Now. <laughs> Cause I have a little more context on the situation. I seen uh one of the coaches who was speaking on it. Basically, like, you know, oh man, Cam been talking noise about us all week. Da da da. He been talking trash and this, that, and the third. And you know, that's what y'all didn't see. And it's like, dude, you gotta hone in your emotions. If you're gonna be a coach, you're a leader. You should not be sitting up here getting into it with a man like Cam Newton, man who's built a platform for these young brothers and he's, you know, for these young kids out here, man, on the seven on seven, he's done something that a lot of cats have not done uh, post NFL career, something very positive for the community. So it's like, man, you got to hone it in. I mean, it's, this is sports. I'm pretty sure all of us have played football uh, at one point in our lives. You know what I'm saying? I was actually in the band too, you know what I'm saying? But it's hey, another story. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know what I mean? We've all been in a competitive field with teammates. Trash talking is a part of this. Dude, from what I saw, man, he took it a little too personal. And, uh, you know, when, when, when things got heated up, from what I saw, dude, with the backpack, the coach ran up and tried to tee off on Cam, and then he got yoked up pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? This is the same Cam Newton, man, who we seen in uh in spring training yoke up one of the players, you know what I'm saying, on the other team. Uh, he was laughing. This is the same Cam Newton that we seen uh, smiling after he got into a, a, a wreck where the car flipped five times. This is Cam Newton, man. Was, Cam took on like three people by itself, dog. This is Cam, man. Stop playing with him. That's all I got to say, man. Stop playing with Cam and stop being so emotional, man. Dude was too emotional, got in his emotions. Hey, trash talk is a part of it, bro. You ain't got to throw no hands on the man. Stop it, man. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy to see. I hate that it happened like that, bro, because it's not just you know, it a lot of people look bad in that other uh, situation, bro. But uh, Cam held his, his own, man. He held it down, man. He got them boys off of him like a linebacker in two deep tackles. So he did what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, big shots to Cam Newton, man. We, you know we love Cam over here, man. Cut it out. Yeah. Well, I agree with everything what you're saying, man, what all y'all said. But to be honest with you, I just hate – I hate that it happened in the black community. You feel me? Me too. Like, like, like you saw black boy, black coaches, not boys, but black coaches fighting a black athlete. You feel me? That that's just that's dumb, bro. Like you will never see this. Like they said on um, ESPN, you will never see this at Peyton Manning camp. You will never see this at a um, Josh Allen camp. You would never see that. You would never see that type of shit, bro. Because. They want to learn from these players. They want to learn and grow, man, for real. I just hate it, man. Now they're going to be talking about this instead of actually putting the work on the field. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that, that's, that's, where I'm, that's where I'm at with it. 
Yeah, Rock so <laughs> man, uh it, it was stupid, bro. It was stupid. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. One of the reasons, the main reasons it was dumb. That team top shelf went out there. The kids that that those 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 men coach, they went out there and they beat C1 in. They won that game. But they're never gonna get their just due in the media. Th those kids are never gonna get recognized for that because of the actions of some adults. Had they never done this, the whole narrative would have been different. It would have been, hey, we went out here and beat Cam Newton's team. Nobody's talking about that part of it because they decided to act like fools. Uh, secondly, um, <clears throat> man, I think they found out exactly what uh, 65250 <laughs> uh, is like yeah, in, in an altercation, bro. It's like, man. And I want to say this now. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to knock Cam in any type of way. But I have to say this: it was a horrible job of jumping a man. <laughs> I'm I'm from Skiggy. Y'all been to Skiggy? We didn't seen people get jumped before. I've seen bigger people get flipped upside down by four people. I know four people back home. That would have turned him upside down, bro. They they did not rehearse this. You can tell that this was the first time that they ever tried to do anything like this, bro. It was a horrible job. First of all, if a man is 6'5", 250, and all of y'all are like 5'8", why grab him? Like, like you're gonna lose that. Like, what do you put? Why grab this man like that? You're gonna lose that, bro. But ultimately, man, I feel sorry for the kids because the kids of that team actually went out there on the field uh, and beat Cam Newton's team at his event. Mm -hmm. um, that that was a major story. And because of adults, man, they, they're not going to get their recognition or they just do. And that's just sad, bro. All right. My look says, Cam says, grown man, Benny. <laughs> There's a like a lot of hate, man. It was just a lot of hater stuff going on, bro. And uh very unfortunate because like you guys said, man, uh this wouldn't have happened at Peyton Manning's camp. This wouldn't have happened. Dude, there's so many camps out there that we don't yeah. even hear about, we don't know about, we don't even think about. You know what I mean? It's probably a Joe Flacco camp out there, but it's like, why would you play with Cam, man? And it's like, it's just, it just sucks, man, to see that dude. I, I just shook my head when I seen it, man. It was very, very, very distasteful to see that happen, bro, to, to somebody of that stature, man. Because you you know Cam only doing it from the heart, man. And uh, and like Buddy, bro, Buddy was hating on Cam. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta superstar quarterback. That they, they can't throw passes. He's just talking crap like all the time. It's like, man, you took everything so personal on the field. Leave it on the field. That's one thing we learned in football. In high school football, that's one of the biggest things we learned. You leave it on the field, bro. You leave it, whether, it's you it. whether it's in the game, you leave it on the field. You do what you got to do on the field, but you leave it on the field. I'm, I, I'm from Texas. You know, football <laughs> number one in my state, just like it is in Alabama. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way. You know what I mean? We love football, man, but you leave it on the field, bro. You don't you don't take it personal, man. This is just competition. So I got a question for y'all. All right. If y'all um, uh, let's say if one of those kids were your son, mm -hmm. right? How would you handle that situation with the coach? In well, uh, what aspect? Switching team, yeah. Huh? I'm switching teams. Oh, when my son and my son was on the on the on that coach's team, right? Oh, he gone. He, he getting on. Yeah, we switching team. teams. Switching, All right, teams. switching it up. He probably gonna send him to cam team. Right, come on, man. Right, he, he, he ain't gonna play for him no more. Yeah, yeah man. We shopping it around. But exactly. I will, I, I will be the only one to, because I'm, I'm agreeing with everything. That's just up to this point. 
Now, unless we get some type of uh, evidence that Cam started or whatnot, because it could be. Because, like I said, I'm not. He probably, the he probably that did. Believe, yeah. The, I'm not it's the type good. of person that. I'm not the type of person that believe in there's uh that's his side, there's their side, and there's the truth. No, truth is the truth. It is what it is. What is the truth? So it what they saying could be true. And if what they're saying is true, I'm just playing devil's advocate. If they're saying uh what they're saying is true, Cam is wrong all the way. If if he was uh like low-key bullying. Cause the guy said he just ran up there because he said, like, that's my partner. And he grabbing all on him and stuff like that. He's a smaller guy. I can understand that because I would have did the same thing. I'm like, that's my partner. It is what it is. So if that was the case, and I'm saying if that was the truth, then Cam is all the way wrong. And ain't no more about it. And but I why think why would Cam not to cut you off? But no. go, yeah, go ahead. Know. Why would I, I, why would Cam even do that? We ain't never seen Cam get out of character like this. Hey, His but, whole but, career. Yeah, we, we I, seen I, him talk I, spicy though. Oh yeah, no, yeah. No, we no, seen, no, no, we no, seen no, him talk no. spicy. The only thing that no, I'm no. saying, like the only thing that I'm saying, because I'm with you on that. Like, not see the thing is, bro, them folks still human now. Folks make mistakes. He just probably like, damn man, I was tripping on that answer. Just because he Cam don't mean nothing. The man probably. I'm just, I'm just like I said, just devil's advocate. If all that's true, then Cam is all the way wrong. But what I know what's not going to happen, if that truth come out, a lot of folks are not going to backtrack what they said. True. I just know how people operate. They, they, yeah. they'll just be like, well, well, when Cam handled them and he did what it is, they would have left it alone. But we still waiting on Cam to drop his uh, podcast and just say what happened. That's the only thing I want to know. I was hoping that he'll do it before we uh did the podcast, but hey, don't look like we're getting that true. I thought he did drop something, but I didn't get to see it in time. It trust me, dog. I, I've been I've been I've been trying to watch that. <laughs> trust me. So that information would have been up here <laughs> before we even push play. I'm telling you, dog, man. That that junk is wild, dog. That they now back I to know. yeah, I don't see Cam fighting over no over no seven on seven now. I don't see, him, I don't see like he was more. I don't see him fighting over it either. Yeah, you're right. I don't see him fighting over it either, dog. It just I'm like I try to give folks the benefit of the doubt because he said, she said, but it, like you you got just treat it like a court case, man. You still got to present what's your evidence. Yeah, the video can show one thing, but it's 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 minutes before that. Whether folks like it or not, it's still minutes before that. Like what happened that led up to this? That's what I want to know. What led up to it? That's why I'm I can't wait to hear Cam's side to it, or if somebody got some type of video evidence that can show like, oh, this dude was antagonizing Cam, or Cam was antagonizing them. I don't know. That's I mean, what I'm saying. I mean, that's why I kind of said, man, I just hate it happening at a black event. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I hate that. Because, like, 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 that, like that's, that's been the media ever since we was younger. That, that's what they portray, you know, black on black. You know, I just be like, shoot, this, this is getting way more attention than what's going on in the White House. You feel me? Like, like I'm like, let that sink in. Why, why are we even, why is this being advertised? They shake hands. <laughs> Go ahead, do their thing, whatever. But that is that's just messed up how how it happened, you know. I, I, you know who I blame? What? You know who I blame? I blame I blame the NFL. I blame the NFL and I blame sports media. Here's why. Cam is one of the most disrespected athletes in the NFL. Well, formal athletes oh, in the NFL. No, T.O. <laughs> I said one of now, not not the most, but one of the most. One of the most uh, disrespected athletes. Uh, people act like sometimes that he he's not that guy, or he never was that guy, so to speak. And uh, yeah. something made those guys feel like they can win that. And I feel like just the disrespect that Cam receives on a daily basis about his playing career. That's why he's saying the Atlanta quarterback that can't throw. It's it's like stuff like that. 
It's like yeah. you get that from the media, right? You get that from the other owners saying, oh, we don't want Cam because he doesn't have this or that. Uh, those guys felt like they can do that. And secondly, man, I wonder what the conversation in the car was like. Because if I see one of my homeboys fighting somebody that's 6'5", 250, of course I'm going to help out. But when we get in the car, I'm going to ask him, like, bro, why did you choose this fight? I didn't got slung around helping you. <laughs> uh, you're like, you should have known better than to fight this dude. <laughs> right, <crazy>. right. <laughs> it's some stupid ass shit. They probably was in the car like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, what was you thinking, bro? <laughs> right. You didn't got me beat up. <laughs> bro, we in this predicament because you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. Do you think they they bounce back from this though? Do you think that uh? Bro, why can, bro? Because he why needs not? to shut that yeah. thing down, bro. Shut it down. Shut yeah, it down. I mean, shut I wouldn't shut the camp down least. or hire more security. I wouldn't shut, I wouldn't shut the camp down over because of two coaches. Why would you do that? You 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 ruining a lot of good players that can come from that area. You feel me? So why 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 like you know right. why why take that from them? Because why? they've been disrespecting this man. They disrespect this man at all his camps, all his okay, camps, bro. Like there's so ban many. Them. Ban them no. from coming to the game, right, bro. It, so, bro, one bad apple can spoil the bunch, that, bro. If if you, bro, because if you if you play defense and one person's offside, the whole team gets penalized with yards. Like, bro, sometimes a bad apple can spoil it, but no one doing that to Tom Brady at his camps. Bro, don't disrespect me. My respect is big, bro. I'm taking my time. I'm well off on money. I'm taking my time, and I'm helping y'all, and this is what y'all want to do? But that, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Why, why strip them kids? The other kids, the kids who, who didn't do anything, why strip them of something that they can have an opportunity in? That, that don't make sense. True. You see me? True. So, like, so why yeah, can't yeah, the coaches are a bad apple? I get that, but you could ban them and keep the kids right there. You don't want to. You don't want to run that. But I'm saying, no. Nah, I'm, I'm in this situation. The coaches, sure. But have you seen the other camps? It be the kids. Yeah. It be the yeah, kids. Cam gets that's... more. This thing is more attention because people disrespect Cam. This is the fifth incident that they've recorded with someone disrespect. They put their hands on more. Cameron Newton. Their hands on them. Mm. What? You put your Why? hands on a 6'5", 250 quarterback? I do. Why do you why do you think it's always Cam getting disrespected like that though? Because, because he the own because he in the black because he a black person in the black community and for some reason Sometimes, like when you go back to where you came from, your people don't receive you well. Why well, a lot of people kind of move to different areas? They just don't receive you well. I don't know why that, that is. But why? Why we got to continue moving to different areas and not going back home? No, it ain't even. It, it ain't even the areas, dog. You ain't even really. It's just really just certain people. It's not even the area. It's certain people. You right. just the coaches. The coaches. The coaches are where well, the kids are the extension. Of the coaches, and it could be the parents too. What? Yeah. They see what the coaches doing. What you think the kids gonna do? I guarantee you, somebody checking them. Like, no, we ain't doing that here. It's yes sir, no sir. This man is a. <laughs> this man deserves his respect, dog. Like I said, bro. Of course, everybody know I'm an Alabama fan. He he, an Auburn guy. I didn't like him while he was at Auburn, but it was just for football purposes. Just like ah. It's just like the normal rivalry stuff. Right, right, right. But like, bro, this man is highly decorated. Highly, most guys have not done what Cam has done in their football career, and I'm talking about Hall oh, of sure. Fame. So this man deserves sure. all the respect when he comes to you and trying to give you wisdom and knowledge. You should be trying to suck up all that knowledge, dog, and stop pause. trying to be. Yeah, pause. <laughs> stop. <it. laughs> well. Um, yeah, man, you should be trying to get all that knowledge. And then it's just like, man, Lebrisky, what other person yeah. you know that what other person you know doing this for their community? Or not like bro, it's 
you just got to start checking the people. Like when you start seeing some out of line stuff like that, bro, check them. It's not you ain't got to move to no different area, nothing like that, bro. It's really just right. the some of these dudes don't need to be coaches. So would you would stuff. you keep the camp? No, I still keep the camp. The camp exactly. it has nothing camp. to do with nothing. It's just the people. You just got to some. It got to be uh consequences to this. You got to let folks know, like, bro, this can't happen. Happen bro. again at all? Like happen again? Like this is this is like zero tolerance, dog. This is we talking about. Let's just say these were kids, and then we'll move on. Like, bro, if these were uh, kids, man, somebody should have checked them right there. Like, bro, this is, is an adult. I don't care what you think, Cam, cool like that. Like, man, you can be yes, sir, no, sir. Get all the knowledge that you can from this man. You want to go to the next level. Hey, man, how, how you do this? How you do that? What did you do when you did this? Stuff like that, man. You just trying to get a viral moment. So you can get your 15 minutes of fame. Just say I disrespected Cam Newton when you wasted the opportunity right there. You said you it's think this happens moment. to Patrick Mahomes. Say what? You think this happens to Patrick Mahomes? No. No. You think this happens to Tom Brady? No. no. Shit, this no. probably don't even happen to Drew Brees, bro. At all. No. Nah, nah, bro. After after I go viral the, for the fifth time because of some because of because of a camp. And someone, someone tried to disrespect me publicly on film. Oh man, no, nah, bro. Y'all, y'all taking my greatness. Y'all taking my greatness for granted. So, yeah. so that's that's, that's the only thing that had. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, that's what I said, man. That's why you got to get that stuff checked. You nip it right in the bud, bro. It's just like respect. Like I am big on respect, bro. It's just like somebody calling you the b word or oh, whatnot. They see that you ain't gonna say nothing if you just call let uh you uh them keep calling you the b word they're gonna continue to do it like oh man ain't nothing but a little b oh look p and all that just just literally just calling you all out your name or whatnot but if, i guarantee if you check it <laughs> and other people see how you check that person nobody won't cross that line but you gotta uh it gotta be not just cam cam has done it but it has to be there are coaches like, oh no, we ain't doing that. It got to be other folks, and then it got to be the parents getting in them, getting in their air. Yeah. So, so that's what like one of the things you said when you first started, uh, Brinsky was was if you you know we don't know what happened before that, right? One yeah. of the things that gives me like sort of pause about the situation is I, like like I say, I think it's disrespectful, but it's something about Cam Newton that this keeps happening. Like it, it's got to be something. I'm not saying it's something he's doing, but it's there's there's something, and we can't. There's other black people with camps. Maybe not as big as Cam's camp. Maybe not uh, as big of a star as Cam. But we don't hear this about other black athletes at their camp. No, bro. Like no, no. It, it's something that's going on. I don't know. I know Cam is a participant in his camp. Where, well, most of the times when you see athletes with camps, they kind of just like sponsor it. They go there and they give advice. He actually has a team in this seven on seven, so he's probably bringing some kind of competitive nature. If you know Cam, you know once the competition gets going, he he talks a little spicy now. I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to just completely let him off the hook. He he'll say some stuff to get up under your skin. Oh, um, I'm not saying that it's justified, but there's something about Cam Newton where this contends like these kids <clears throat> feel the need to disrespect him, and now you got coaches wanting to fight him after they won a game. <laughs> after they won yeah. a game, I can see if they got embarrassed out there and lost by 30. I, I couldn't even justify it then, but I'm just saying, like, you won. Your viral moment was gonna be holding up the trophy, saying, Hey, I beat C C1 in. I, I just don't get it, bro. I don't get it. That, that's why we just gonna um, still let it play out. I still think some uh, fast gotta come out or that's whatnot. True. But we'll see. We'll see what uh, Cam talk about. Hopefully, we'll hear something before. More than like we're gonna hear something. <clears throat> hear something before the next pod. So buckle up. But we gonna move on from that. And pray for all parties. Especially those guys' medical bill. They, they, they medical bill could have been worse. 
You should choke oh, yeah. him out. Could have been a lot worse. Choke oh, slammed everybody. Good, good old Lebanon James. <laughs> LeBron James and Bronny James, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. The funny thing about this. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get started, what happened? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was about the uh okay, tell okay, it. okay. Yeah, no, you good. Uh so this LeBron and Bronny situation. So it's definitely on the record that LeBron said he wants to play uh with his son before he retires. Okay. It, everybody can say that or whatnot. <laughs> Don't mean it's gonna actually happen. But thing is, what made this situation so unique. LeBron started off saying, oh, my son, oh, yeah, man, he can play in the NBA. Oh, he better than 75% of the players in the NBA. That's one big target right there. Now, they even had Bronny as high as a the number 10, number 10 or 12th pick in this year's draft uh, before he graduated high school, like the mock draft. And I'm one of the guys who has consistent, consistently saying this dude is not no top 10 talent. He is not no first round talent. In my eyes, not right now, because I feel like he still got to develop. He's not his dad coming out of high school. And I'm just like, they just going off a name. And that's going to get a lot of people fired. Yeah. Now he's in college. We see what he's doing. You see he's... And then he had that cardiac arrest or what not. So, of course, his health concern. And thank God that he's even playing basketball. But you see the averages. You can tell he's just not ready for the next level right now. He probably need another year or two before he can even consider going to the draft if he really want to have a long career in the NBA. But the problem is, with that draft, well, like I just said about the mock draft, the mock draft had him in the second round now. It just kept going down and down, but now he's like in the second round, which I believe it shouldn't even be – he shouldn't be draftable right now. But he's in the second round. And so LeBron seen that and said, oh, man, just let the kid play, be a college kid, man. Come on and all that. And everybody is letting LeBron have it because they see the hypocrisy in that. Because, like, dude, you're the one that put that target on his back. You wouldn't let him be a college kid. It's your fault. And it ain't about him. Like, bro, of course we know that's your son or whatnot and you're trying to protect him. But it's you. It's just you and it's nobody else. You're the one that put that target on his back. That's why he he just probably want to go to class. Who I don't know what Bronny plans is. I'm just and I hope the guy has an awesome career. I don't know, but I don't. I know for sure right now he is not ready for the NBA. He is not ready. Anybody that says he is ready for the NBA, they're lying and shouldn't talk about basketball ever again. The floor is yours. Anybody. Um, all right, so LeBron basically said this. He said, can y'all please just let the kid be a kid and enjoy basketball? The work and the results ultimately do the talking, no matter what he decides to do. If y'all don't know, he doesn't care about the mock draft. He just works. Earn, not given. He said, and to all the other kids out there striving to be great, just keep your head down, blinders on, and keep grinding. These mock drafts don't matter one bit, I promise you. Only the work matters. Let's talk real basketball, people. So let's talk real basketball. <laughs> let's talk real basketball, all right? Um, Bronny's only averaging about five points per game. Uh, I wish I would have had them assist numbers up. The assist numbers aren't that bad. I think five, five, well, three to five assists, five points per game, maybe two rebounds a game. Let me say this. The only player that I've seen 
come out of the first round with those similar numbers was Brandon Jennings. But Brandon did not go to Arizona State like he was supposed to. Well, it was University of Arizona he was supposed to go to. He ended up going overseas and playing in Italy. He played with the pros, okay? He still got drafted in the first round, but we seen where his career went. Nothing to take away from Brandon. I'm a big Brandon Jennings fan. He came out in 09. Big, big Brandon Jennings fan. I really like Brandon when he came out. But let's be a buck here, bro. Let's be a buck here. Let's talk basketball for a minute. Braun, your son is only averaging five points, man. What are you talking about? You want to talk basketball? Let's talk basketball. I could see it would be a big difference, right, if Bronny was averaging a little over 10 points per game. That's a little bit, that's a lot different, honestly. But five points per game, Bronny's been starting, bro. He's been starting these games. He's barely putting up any points. Why do you think that this man can come into the Lakers organization and help y'all out when Scottie Pippen Jr. was balling over there in Vanderbilt? I'm talking balling. Balling, dog. Go look at the highlights. Go look at Scottie Pippen Jr. highlights, right? He didn't get that same shot. He didn't get that same opportunity. The only reason why we got these cats like Stack 5 bigging up Bronny James is because of who his daddy is, period. And for Stack 5 to sit up here and call Austin Rivers a bum, Austin was the man. Not only in high school has arguably one of the greatest Highlight tapes of any high school player, not only high school, but college at Duke. He was killing it. He was killing it. Why are you sitting up here just because it's your son? I mean, I get it. It's because it's his son. That's the only reason he gets this, this passing is or because of his name. If Bronny James was not LeBron James the second. We would not be talking about this kid like we talking about him, man. And honestly, dude, out of his two kid, out of his two sons, uh, Bryce is the better player, bro. Bryce is gonna be the next Bron if we're gonna go there. But it ain't Bronny. Bronny is mediocre, man. Every time I see Bronny play, I don't see that. I don't see that same heart his daddy got. I see this is a kid getting carried into the NBA because who who his daddy is. I don't see that heart in there. I think Bronny would much rather be a YouTuber, would much rather be a video game player like he got signed to uh, the FaZe Clan and all that. I see him more of like a, uh, one of them type of kids. He didn't even have better numbers than Marcus Jordan. I don't even think he has better numbers than, than Jet. Uh, Jeffrey Jordan. No, no, no. Let's not go there. He has better numbers than Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey was terrible. Jeffrey averaged like two points a game. But let's be real here, man. Your son is not league ready. And if you wanted your son to be league ready, he should have went to the G League instead of going to USC. He's embarrassing the name and embarrassing himself at USC at this point. Period, dude. Here, little Romeo had better numbers than Ronnie James, and that's a fact, Jack. That's a fact, man. Let's just let's just go there. Little Romeo had better numbers. I'm done. I'm done with him. I'm not going to go to the extent that he's ruined the name because <laughs> that's a little harsh. Uh, but what I will say is, <laughs> it, it, I will say this: if you look at it, his high school years, man. He was on a trajectory. He was actually looking really, really good, like coming up to his senior year. Now, I don't know if y'all watched him like that, but he was actually playing very well, better than what he's playing now. Because of that incident, that slowed him down tremendously. I'm not even going to lie. I know he's on the whole minute uh, restriction thing right now because of that, but when you when your heart stops, bro, <laughs> And you gotta pump, keep pumping it. 
you pumping blood from your heart to your brain. So you yeah, losing, everywhere. You, you losing a lot of a lot of things. You feel me? It, it, you know, until you know you come to whatever. But while, all I'm saying is that he might not be ready for the NBA this year. He might not be ready for the NBA even next year. To be honest with you, it's just how his how his body is going to operate. And maybe he feels that, you know, he's hearing everything his dad say. Yeah, his dad say some outlandish thing. You know, we already know that. But he's hearing everything. And maybe maybe what he's hearing is translating to how he plays. You feel me? That's my take on that. Bruh, you know what? I don't care about none of that. I'm with LeBron. I'm with LeBron, <laughs> dog. He doing exactly what he's supposed to do, bruh. You, we all been in, we all been in school, and that mom said to the teacher, "Man, my son Johnny, one of the smartest kids in here." Man, Johnny's slow as hell. Johnny is <laughs> slow as hell. Johnny make B's and F, <laughs> B's and F's. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how Bronny is, bro. LeBron is supposed to say, my son is one of the best basketball players I've ever seen. He's he going to be in the NBA. We're going to play together. He's going to make a bag, too. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do that. And then when someone attack your son, you know what else you're supposed to do? Man, why y'all doing that, bro? Get off my son. You're supposed to do that, bro. You're supposed to do it. I don't care. I ain't going to fault no man for bragging on the son. And then when people start attacking the son, being like, hey, man, y'all back up. I ain't going to fault no man for doing it. Just like I won't fault that lady when she come to class, saying her kid's smart, and she know he does. And if they pick on her kid, be like, yo, stop talking about my kid. You painted that target. But I ain't going to fault you for that. Bro, parents love their kids, bro. They brag on their kids. But that's backwards. Right, bro. wrong, and different. Nah, it's not backwards, bro. Right, wrong, and different. You brag on your kid. You brag on kids, bruh. I don't yeah, care you if your brag kid's on them, but... I don't care if your kid's mediocre. Yeah, you, you gonna bra- still you you still gonna do that. You gonna you gonna do that. And I, I don't I don't I don't. I, LeBron just a national icon, but I don't I don't I don't blame him for doing that. I don't blame him. I don't blame LeVar for it. I don't blame none of them for it. Well, you can say what you don't blame him for, bro, but that's still backwards, bro. You, you saying that he's better than 75% of the people in the NBA, which he is not. That's just cool. a clear cut fact. You can say somebody is uh-huh. this and that or whatnot, but you, you, I can put it like this you can brag on whoever you want to brag on, but you can't get mad if folks disagree with you. You can't just be Why over can't? here whining about it. Why you can't? It. Why? Why you can't? Why you can't? <laughs> you may not like because it, but folks, I can do it. I can do it. You can you can do it all you want, but still, folks gonna still hold your feet to the fire, like bro. No, that's fine. It doesn't that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. If you, I said what I said. I'm ten toes down. You on don't. It. You can say you don't care all you want, but guess what? He cannot take it. That's why he said what he said. So that means he can't. You say he doesn't care, but he cared enough to say something. So no, no, yes, no, he no. When care. I said when I no, I'm saying I don't care. I don't care if you're trying to hold my feet to the fire. I don't care about that. I say he the greatest. And then, okay. you know what? Y'all start picking on him. I'm telling y'all to chill out. It so is you're what gonna, it is, So, so you're going to so uh, set your child up like that, knowing that they can't deliver? Oh, man. Are they going to get I'm an passing. NBA? Are they going to get an NBA? Because the bar <laughs> show got Lonzo Ball that first round pick. He sure got Lonzo Ball. And we Lonzo, damn sure know he shouldn't have went number we we should we Lonzo should not have gone, but he shouldn't have gone number one. He or, didn't go number one or number two. Whatever you went, he shouldn't only, have gone. Only, only only reason why Lonzo is not start uh, a star player is because of his. That's foot. not, but that's not what I'm saying. He shouldn't have gone top three like he did. But it doesn't matter. That's what he I'm got, saying. He, he had the talent to the go point, to the NBA. It doesn't the, matter the, if he the, went. First round or second round, he had the talent to actually go. Bronny, to the Bronny, NBA. Bronny got the talent to go to the NBA. He gonna be there. He gonna be there. Say what he you want. He gonna be there. He gonna okay. be there. He gonna be there, bro. No, you. That, it's yes. different. Is he gonna be there or does he have the talent? Those are two different things, bro. Bro, the thing about it is, you I don't think he's talent, NBA, I don't think bruh. he's ready right now. Mm. I never, bro. Bro, that's fine. That's fine. He gonna get there. He gonna get there. He gonna get there. He gonna get in the NBA. You don't need a ton of skills. 
You could be a three and D guy. You could be just a D guy. Bro, there's a lot of guys in the NBA, three and D. Like they have designated roles Name now, one. brother. A oh, three and D guy? NBA, Pat 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 Beth. Pat Beth. Pat Bev was amazing. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Not, bruh, 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 that, bruh, bruh. I'm talking about in the NBA. There's guys who are amazing in college, weren't amazing in the NBA. You can, your game can change as you go to a next level. You may not be amazing in college. You might have the right skill sets for the NBA. That That's just so it. You, you, would draft, you would draft him on purely potential is what you're saying. Today, what I drafted today? No, I'm saying yeah. I just don't have a problem with LeBron James saying what he said. Stand up for your son. Okay. Every so, time, so every check, time. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Check this out. Until you said that, I didn't think about this, but I want to. I want to tell you this. My, I, I think I shared this on a podcast before. My daughter played travel softball from like sixth grade up until she graduated. Right. Mm-hmm. I was complete opposite of what you're saying, LeBron James did. The amount of times I went up to coaches and told coaches, put her in the dugout, bruh. Because and you know what that did? When she got tired of riding the bench, she got out there and worked and she got better. Mm-hmm. If you gift the kid this and you put him on this high horse like this, he has no incentive to get better whatsoever. You cannot compare Brandy James to Melo Ball or Alonzo Ball. Have mm-hmm. you seen... If you take LeBron, if you take Bronny James highlight tape pre-heart injury, and you take Melo Ball and, and those boys highlight tape in high school, it is Don't night and day. Yeah, Don't those compare. boys was putting up 70 packs yeah. prior to the whole heart thing. I've never listen, I want to say this. I want to say this. I've never thought that this dude was a first round talent or a second round talent, even playing in yeah. Sierra Canyon. Right, right, right. Just watching him play basketball. Was he a good player? Absolutely. But at 6'3, 6'4, to be an NBA star, you have to be amazing. You, you, you have to be amazing. He doesn't have the physical tools that his dad had. He's not okay. 6'8, 250. He doesn't run like a gazelle like that. So he right. has to be extremely skilled. The only reason yeah. that Steph Curry made it to the NBA because he's the greatest shooter we've ever seen at 6'2". I yeah. just don't see it with with him. And his dad, listen, his dad is doing him a disservice because he's not, if he makes it to the NBA and he's a first or second round pick, let's say he's one and done. NBA players are going to make it a point to prove that he's not. Just like they did Lonzo Ball, just like they did Melo Ball, they're going to attack him. And he he can't he can, he can't withstand that. I don't see it in his game. And my last point is, the person that needs to be um, the person that needs to be reminded that this guy's heart stopped on the basketball court is LeBron James. That's the person that needs to be reminded of that. We all know it, but he's the one saying he's better than 75 players, 75% of the players in the NBA. He can help the Lakers right now. Like, bro, your son's heart, heart stopped on the basketball floor. Give him time. Take the attention off of him. Let Juju have her moment at USC because she's a much better prospect than LeBron, than Bronny James is right now. Bye, and, bye. And, like, yeah, if it if it wasn't if that wasn't his dad, he probably wouldn't even start. He probably wouldn't even get the minutes that he's getting. Like you're doing him a disservice, man. I'm telling you. And, and it's selfish on LeBron James' part because LeBron is selfish on LeBron James' part because I think that LeBron had stuck around this long, this while, this whole time, because he wanted to be the first player to play with his son, right? And he's trying to make that happen. He wants that notch up under his belt. And like, bruh, you're doing it at the expense of your son's health, at the expense of like his 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 reputation. Like, bro, just let the kid chill, put him on the bench, go to the gym with him after the games or in the meantime, and just and, and let him get his game better, then come back and and, and make those bold statements. But just yeah, just bad. just off the rip. He's he don't need to do it. Yeah. 
He just, I mean, it's, 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 it's foul. Is what it is, I hear, <laughs> bro. I there's so many different ways to parent, bro. I hear you, bro. But I'm not gonna be mad at a parent for saying, "Hey, my son may be the greatest of all time, bro." But even though it's not true, my son might be this. My son, I'm not gonna get mad yeah, at him. If your son that, is bro. Shador Sanders, yes, yeah. bro. bro I'm not kidding. <laughs> But this, My this son can be on the bench. This is not baseball. This is not Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Hey, it's not that. Like where 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 uh the son over uh is better than the dad when it comes down to, to everything. It's like Bron is putting so much pressure on his son because of the name. And and honestly, dog, we can look at the tape. Bryce is a much better That's prospect than Bron. Bronny got his mama hype. Bronny yeah. ain't even got Bron hype, man. <laughs> Bryce, 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 six eight already, man. Bruh. Come on, man. Hey, bro. If... Bron right there, man. Not, not Bronny. Bronny is hey. mediocre, man. Hey, if all our kids play on the same softball team, if all our daughters play on the same softball team, and my daughter suck, you'd never know it, bro. Cause I'm gonna be there every day, like, oh, she the best thing walking on this thing. I don't even yeah, know what y'all talking when, about. <laughs> you know when the ball come to it, let it go between. And I was just, I'm gonna be my daughter's biggest. <laughs> she like out every time. Every, every time, time. Those, every you, time, you, bro. You can, be, you can be your daughter's biggest cheerleader all you want. Nobody's saying that's a problem, but you're putting the target on her back when you say, "Oh, she's better." You saying that's, that's fine. fine now? Okay. You go out there and say your daughter. She got to she she no, no, come to no. me. You, she got to okay. come to me that, and that, say, that, hey, that, you got to cool. chill. That, 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 and guess what? She's going to. Guess what? She if might. you say that she's better at something, if you say she's good at basketball, she's better than all these girls out here. Guess what? Let one of them girls hear that that is actually better than her. Go at her and dominate her. You hey, be in brisky. Bro, she, <laughs> might. she might. She might. She might. He's she not might. saying that she's better than all the girls out here. She he's saying that she's better than 75% of the girls that's at the next level. <laughs> and that's what that's a target. Ronnie's better than Colin Sexton. Hey, hey bruh, bruh. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying Bronny that good at all. I'm just saying I stand with LeBron James bragging on his son. And until his son say, Hey dad, you need to chill, I'm with it. And but that's, that's what we're people attack. Why is he, why is he hey, walking it back now? You're never gonna hear that. That's not hey, what I'm no, no, no. He may not be walking. LeBron just saying, "Hey, don't attack my son." If y'all want to call him walking it back, well, if, bro, if if they put in his 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 numbers on a mock no. draft round two, and LeBron mock, don't like it, draft. and he say, "Hey, hey, fall off my son." Hold on. Oh, so it, so it, it 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 wasn't an attack when he was up there at at as the tenth pick. In the first round, that wasn't attacked then, but it's nope. an attack when nope. he's in the second round. No, yep. they took him off the mark. Yep. He's off no, the so, mark, period. I know yep. this, this man trying to tell me that's an attack. No, that's not an attack, bro. That's just giving you that's giving you reality. That just, that yeah. you're, you're not ready. I you're said what I said. Oh, don't don't put my son say. down there with them bums. Don't put my okay. son down there with them bums. Okay, my son blowing the greats. Okay, and guess what? <laughs> And it and it's showing every day. Uh, I will advise <laughs> any parent do not follow that advice. Because guess what? You will you hey, will hey, be home hey, very listen, quick. Hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 if no, your no. kid says brag hey, on them, boy, brag on them. Boy. I don't care what your kids say. If your kids yeah. say brag on them, brag on them. Okay. okay if your kids say chill out, chill out. But no, follow your kids. Brag on them all follow you want, but that humble pie is undefeated. Hey, hey, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, dad, support your kids. I got you. Bragging on them. I think Bingo. Ronnie's great. Bingo. Bingo. Hey, Bingo. hey, Bingo. hey, there's many ways, there's many ways to do it. There's many ways to do it. There's many okay. ways to do it. You just gotta know your child. I'm not this saying, is the wrong I don't know Bronny. I don't know Bronny. I don't know Bronny. But if Bronny cool with it, I'm cool I know with he's it. averaging five points a game. Hey, hey, oh, that's fine. Hey, that's fine. Bronny, we about to move on. Go ahead, go ahead. Like, like, get the last word. He's not a great college basketball player. That's fine. That's this fine. As of right now, today. That's fine. This is as of right now, today. That's He's fine. Not. That's fine. But he I'm, hey, that's change, fine. But he that's got fine a lot of too. development to do. That's fine. So we're going to move on. Hey, by the time he get done, Bron, Bron going to be retired. All right? All right. By the time he get out of college, if he does it right, if he wants to be a great 
NBA player, he needs to stay in college for the next two years. Yeah. Me and my son say he's ready to come out next year. We we, out. We're moving on, moving on. (laughs) Adam Silver is the worst commissioner in sports. Now, I got this uh, topic. I've been screaming Adam Silver has been doing a terrible job in the uh, NBA, and the product has been showing over the years, the offensive fists. Efic- I can't even get the word out. Somebody help me out. Efficiency. Efficiency. Thank you. Efficiency. I can't even get out. Efficiency. Efficiency. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, that's been like at an all-time high. It's, it's almost – no, it's a 10-point 10, 10 uh, increase in the offense. The, uh, the referees are all-time trash. Now just missing calls after missing calls. It, and it's not just like ticky tack stuff. It, we talking about like game changing, series changing calls or whatnot. The product, a lot of the guys, I think he's definitely trying to be a player's commissioner. That is the worst thing you can possibly do when you are the commissioner of the NBA. You work for the owners. You work for the owners. I have to say it again for you to understand. That's why you see the product out there. That's why you see low management out there. That's why you have to make up rules for guys to play uh, 65 games to at least make all NBA teams and all that. And guys are complaining about, Oh, I think 65 is a lot. It should be 50 something. Shout out to Jalen Brown. I respect, bro. I don't want to hear nothing from a NBA player complaining about playing basketball. You nothing. know, they negotiate. The players negotiated that for 65. The players league negotiated 65 games. That was their that was their rule. Okay. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. And they they know you said they negotiated, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. And guess what? And guess what they're doing? Now, now they're trying to backtrack it. Mm. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody. Right. Nobody mm-hmm. cares. You're playing basketball. Unless you're really injured, nobody cares. You're ruining the product. Low management has been ruining the game. Ruining the game. Adam Silver has done a terrible job. At his job, David Stern left this game as a well-oiled machine. Everything that you, David Stern, built this uh, game to be is literally going down the drain. It's literally going down the drain with the type of quality. Yes, you have more skilled guys because these guys now have nutritionists and they're working on their game and have individual trainers and all that type of stuff. But the product is not good. It's not good at all. Because they're, they're not even playing defense anymore. Just because the guy scored a whole bunch of points, then they'll just be like, oh, this guy better than this guy back in the day. No, he's not. I think LaMelo Ball is a cool NBA player, but I don't think he's a great one. It's just certain guys. I don't know, man. The product is just terrible. And I think Adam Silver, if he doesn't straighten it out, the NBA is gonna be gonna be way at the bottom real, real soon. What's you guys take? I think um because you know people have their things that they gotta say about Stern too, you know. Oh yeah, now that see that's the thing too. And I'm my fault for you can cut you off. You good, you good. What you gonna say? What you gonna say? Ain't ain't there ain't no commissioner go unscathed, but the thing about David Stern, the David Stern had the dress code thing. Like nobody really was feeling that, or whatnot. It was like mm, I don't know about this, or whatnot. Yes, the outfits were a little bit out of control, but you see the outfits today, you'd be like, oh no, nah. <laughs> those outfits then were nothing compared to today's. Because these guys, I don't know what they wear. I said I want to be rich to dress stupid, but. David Stern is literally the best commissioner that 
in all the four major sports in the history of professional sport. But go ahead, my fault. I think Stern started the whole rivalry thing. He started the mag magic versus bird thing and, you know, all that type of stuff that we was getting early on. The MJ era was, was totally stern, right? This is my thing about uh, Adam Silver, bro. Silver is, the, the players love him simply because he's protecting the players and he's getting everybody paid. The players and the owners love Stern, but it's taken away from what we love about basketball, about professional basketball. We love the Stern era because there was more defense being played. It was more of a competition. What we're seeing in this Adam Silver era is Silver is straight up letting them do whatever. It's turning into globe trotter basketball at this point. And then we got all of these. One thing Stern was, was doing was Stern was highlighting the hometown players from America. Now Silver is starting to turn this to an international league. From what I'm seeing, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, we're starting to see more of the international players being in the forefront over our hometown guys who, when Stern was here, that's what we saw. We saw cats from America being in the forefront. Now we're seeing guys from overseas. They're going to go get your Wimbies, your Jokic's, all that, your, your Luka Doncic's. You're seeing more of these type of cats running the league. And we don't know where it's going to go under his uh, under his tenure because Stern is – I mean, uh, Silver is literally dumbing down the product. Like, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Even with the All-Star game, like we spoke on last week, these guys are not even playing, bro. It Like, the, the celebrity All-Star game was way more entertaining than the actual NBA All-Star game, which is a problem. You know what I'm saying? It's a big issue, dude. Like, I'm, like it's, it's getting to, like, the NFL. Like, where NFL was doing wrap-up a couple years ago now, they said no pads. We're just going to uh, flag football this out. You see what I'm saying? It's starting to become like that. It's just – it's too soft, man. We're not getting the product that the fans want. All this low management crap. Hey, bro, if I pay my ticket – to come see a Laker game. If I go all the way out to California, I, I fly out to Cali, I go watch this, bro. This is terrible, man, because I'm not actually able to see who I want to see, man. Um, My father-in-law went to a Laker game in California, dude, and didn't even see Brian play. I would have been pissed off. I would have been pissed if I didn't get to see Brian play. And I I, would, I went all the way to Cali just to watch the game. I mean, it's just, it's terrible, man. The product that we're getting isn't the product we're used to. Um, these new, this, this new generation of kids and everything, they're watching this and they think it's all about just scoring. No, dude, we need defense. We need people to be playing the actual sport how it's supposed to be played. And we're not seeing that right now in today's NBA. And that's what I yeah. guess. <clears throat> yeah, I mean... I don't know if I'm ready to call Adam Silver the worst commissioner in sports history based off what the NBA is today. No, I'm not, I feel saying, like, I'm, not, I'm not saying in history. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about right now. Right now? Uh, uh, Roger Goodell is terrible, too. If, if, oh, no. It, it depends. That, no, 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 no. It, it depends on how you look at it, right? If you're looking at it in terms of product of league, then yeah, I could see you saying Adam Silver, but I think what's wrong with the league isn't necessarily completely his fault. I think the biggest thing that he did that turned the league was he paid him too much. Too much money is the reason why we're having what we have. And I'll explain it. With the load management, bruh, I have guaranteed contracts up to an extent. If I play... If I make it to the playoffs, I get this much extra money. If I get this, I get this much extra money. But I'm not risking it. So if I feel a little knick-knack in my leg, I'm not going out there. 
I got a hundred, I got an extra ten million dollars on the line. You know what I mean? I got an extra ten million dollars. Uh, the media, the media also played a part in it. They they completely shot the regular season. They they took it away. Oh, this doesn't mean nothing. Oh, you're a player of the you're an Eastern Conference player of the month. That doesn't mean nothing. The only thing that matters is the playoffs. Well then shoot, all I'm gonna do is save myself for the playoffs. I'm Kawhi Leonard. I'm Kawhi, I'm Kawhi Leonard with it. You know what I'm saying? That and plus the games transformed. The the teams got smarter. They started putting analytics in. Well, you know what? Realistically, if we take more threes, we'll score point we'll score more points than if we take twos. We need more shooters. Let's put all these shooters around one big guy. And then the players got better. Everybody got handles. Everybody got a jumper. <laughs> you know, like you 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 couldn't you couldn't fucking be a a center in the in today's game if you don't got a jumper. You couldn't be on the floor today if you don't got a jumper. The you you start yeah you start no nah, you start thinking about it. If it wasn't for Anthony Edwards, the whole project they got going on in Minnesota with the big French guy that that wouldn't be working out. That wouldn't be working out. You you need skilled players. Skilled play. This is skilled players league now. This is skilled players league now in all positions. So I don't think that's necessarily Adam Silver's fault, but I think empowering people with money, I that that's him. I think that's his fault. And you just you give players too much power. I'll turn down three million to get forty million. I'll be James Harden. I'll 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 sit out, miss five million. I'm making a hundred million off the back end. So yeah, that's what I blame Adam Silver for. Yeah, so um, man, I, 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 first I want to say something about David Stern. Um, he he did a great job, but but one thing I want to say about him is like he was the commissioner for like thirty years. I think he's the longest tenured commissioner in sports. I want to say in America, um, and he was fortunate enough to come along at a time where technology advanced. He, he was fortunate enough to come along at a time where the NBA went from tape delay to live games, uh, where marketing kicked up, you know, it's gotta be the shoes, uh, the Jordan versus Bird commercials, uh, the video game. Uh, those things don't have anything to do with David Stern, but the NBA benefited from him and he benefited from him. In terms of how my fault. To be fair, yo, yes, it does because David Stern's specialty is marketing. Right. I think he's a lawyer, yeah. right? Yeah, he's a lawyer, lawyer but I'm saying that's like his specialty. He's good at marketing. Yeah, yeah. I so so with Adam Silver, what I see from him, man, is <laughs> he is doing a horrible job. I, 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 but what could he do? Like I, the thing is, is like, what is the answer to this? What is the answer to to, to the question of how to make the NBA better? Um, he's tried different things. Uh, the in season tournament was a flop. Uh, well, I'm not gonna say it's a flop because yeah, it, bred, a it bred game. some competitive. It bred that's some competitive. Game. Brisket didn't watch it. Brisket didn't watch it. I watched the whole thing. Well, it gave it gave you some good well, games. It had some good games. It had yeah, some good yeah. games. It, it, it had games in the middle of the season that were good that you typically didn't get in the middle of the season. It, right, um, for sure. For sure. Um, I didn't like the courts and the whole banners and award thing for it, but I guess you got to give players incentives to play. Uh, no. But with him, it's kind of like like you said, is um, I think that my answer to it would be put more stipulations on getting the max contract. That's what I think would, would, would help. I mean, now you got guys getting max contracts that don't deserve max contracts. You know what I mean? You, there, there was never a time under David Stern's tenure where you would have three, four players on the same team getting max deals. It just didn't work. Uh, David Stern did a good job of breeding comp competition in the NBA. You know what I mean? It, the, the parody. Right now, I can't tell who hates who. 
like what what are the rivals in, in, in NBA right now? Like you you really can't, you know, there's no game that you just watch and be like, oh man, these two teams just hate each other. I'm going to watch this. Right. Know, it, but but back oh, when you I had think. yeah, you had you know, you said the Bulls and the Pistons, you knew you was finna see a fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, outside of when Draymond pulled some antics, you don't really get that in, in the NBA anymore. Um in I can't blame Adam Silver for how the game's being played right now because the players are more skilled than ever. There's never been a Jokic. There's never been a Wimby. You know, never there's been never, it, it, yeah, there's never been a Durant. You know what I'm saying? Like these players, they 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 they're like unicorns. You know, uh, so I I can't blame him for the way the game's being played. I don't know how do you infuse defense back in the league when you got players that are so offensively talented. Maybe you shrink the court. I, I have no idea. I, I I have no idea how you, you know, do you know, bro, You know bro. what you got to do? You know what you got to do? You got to incentivize Draymond. That's what you got to do. You have to incentivize yeah. the defensive no, players bro. of the I'm, year. I'm, bro, no. bro, every, bro oh, yeah. every rivalry, every big-time rivalry had a crazy guy ready to get physical on the team. Every big time rivalry in the nineties. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Every big time rivalry in the nineties. That's why you like watching the Bulls versus the Knicks. That's why you like watching Bulls versus Utah. That's why you like you what you like those series because of how physical they were. You like seeing that stuff, bro. Once you start taking the mean out the game, when you take mean out of the game. Bro, the game's yeah, different. It's, it's, it's soft. You fit. It feels soft. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, 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 why the NBA is played the way it is, and it's, it has nothing to do with that, bro. The game is literally because of Adam Silver enforcing offense, changing certain rules so the floor can open up. If the rules were still the same, they would be playing different types of basketballs. Yes, these what guys rules are more skin. And checking it's certain certain things to open up the floor that opens opens up the floor. Hand yes. checking wasn't yeah. under Adam Silver though. No, was I'm it? saying yeah, no, I'm saying hand checking was under David Stern. But it's plenty right. of other rules that open up to enforce the uh, the offensive efficiency is literally up ten points. This is literally under Adam Silver. The thing has literally the highest that it was up to this point. You know the highest offensive efficiency. Ah, I can't even say it, but you know what I'm trying it's, to say. It, David, David, David Stern no. didn't have to deal with players shooting from 30, 35 on a consistent basis. No, no. When you when you increase the rate, you have more shooting. You have like the you have more possessions. You have more <laughs> possessions than a game. That's the only difference. Because guys are just jacking up shots or whatnot. Just because yes, we have more skilled guys, but a lot of these guys are not fundamental sound. They are not. If, if if they are more skilled, they guess what? They will be playing better defense, right? Right or wrong? No, no. They're more skilled on offensively. More skilled, if they were more they're, skilled, so why are they not more skilled on defense? Because that's something that's not pushed. They don't push defense. Who? who like who I, they they like I said, the guys, guys, into that's why. That's why guys. This is why you have guys in in the older leagues that I'm not in the league at the time, like the T-Mags, the AIs, the Shats, the Dreams, and all these guys. If these bruh. guys played in this era, bro, these guys will be averaging a bruh, whole lot. You want to know why? Because bruh. these guys, the same guy, everything that I'm saying, these guys have said. These guys have played in the league. They see the game. They know the game. They bruh, played the game. Bruh, bruh, I hear you, you bro. You can say you hear me all you want. These are the same you. guys that are Hall of Fame players that see the game and saying Bruh. what they were averaging this game because the, the usage rates have the, went up. The greatest so players of all Silver time. Though, yeah, the greatest because players Adam of Silver all time. Going. Took away certain rules where the game can open up. Yes, you have guys. Bro, I'll what put it rules? like this. That's what I'm saying. What rules now, was it? No, no, no. I'm saying hand checking was one of the rules. It's certain rules that I can't just reel off. I should have had that more prepared. That's on my part. 
but it's certain rules that Adam Silver has taken away. You can literally check. You can literally check your phone right now. The offensive rate when Adam Silver took over, the usage rate went up ten. It's at an all time think. high. It's at an all time okay. high. All the most efficient offensive teams to ever play in the league have literally been under Adam Silver. And you just okay. telling me yeah. out of nowhere, hold on. And you literally uh-huh. telling me out of nowhere that in in a in less than ten year period that we just got more skilled people than the people that played the game before. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, bro. Who's more skilled than LeBron James? Who more skilled? Hold on, wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you. I answer. I answer. I here. Here we go. So so hold on. Hold on. Let me. Name one. No, you said. Let me. Let me. No. Let me. Let me. Let me operate. Let me operate. Let me operate. Let me operate. We have more skilled guys, but are they more skilled than the greatest player of all time? No. There's more on a scale of one to five. Let's say Kobe's a one. LeBron's a one. Jordan's a one. There's more twos and threes in the league than there were before. There's more people with handles than there were before. There's more people shooting than there were before. There used to be teams where some guys couldn't even put up the shot in the NBA. They were just there for defense. For defense. What what what's Buddy's name? What's Buddy? What's Buddy's name? But that doesn't make sense. Who played with Michael Michael Jordan? He played with Jordan. Um, he used to play on the Knicks. He got kicked out of the stadium. What's his name? Defensive guy. Um, who used to Charles Oakley? Skill wise, what 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 was he putting on the floor? He was a defensive player and defensive. Okay, but the the offensive skill wise, what was he putting on the floor? They would take him out of the game because he wouldn't be able to keep up offensively with the other teams. The the Suns, when the Suns went small ball and put all these shooters on the floor, that slowly changed the offense to these types of teams where everybody is shooting the ball. And guess what? So over the over the course of time, that's what the game became. And now we're here. And I don't think that's so Adam Silver's is- fault. So nah, one, of the reasons I can't, one of the reasons I can't one of the reasons I can't blame Adam Silver for how the game is played because when I watch basketball now, I see players on fast breaks turning down layups to shoot threes. Like they literally run to the corners now instead analytic, of running one layups. Thing, that's, though. That's yeah, analytic, but that's, there's no thing. there's no rule. Analytics that, are that like the worst thing. What team them. what team you know enforce analytics winning championships? All of them. All of no, them. All of them. Rock- Hold on, the Haven. The Haven. Was Daryl Morey real focused on analytics? No, no, no. I thought we were talking about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Daryl Morey was, was an fo- analytics uh, guy. For sure. And how many championships did the Rockets have because they were focused on that? They didn't win any championships. Bingo. <laughs> Guess what? The Warriors <laughs> don't focus on that. None oh, of the teams mean, that have won these championships no, would be like no, they, okay. these guys, bro. These guys weren't taking mid-range shots. They said the mid-range shot is a bad shot. Am I right? So what what does Adam Silver have that? to do with that? No, 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 no. I'm not saying <laughs> no, 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 no. You're a particular. You just named one particular thing, but I'm saying that one particular thing does not tell the story of Adam Silver. That's the only thing I'm saying. You said the sun. You said the sun did that. The sun. Guess what? The sun. Guess what? The sun. They stopped taking. Bro, they started taking more threes. They turned the game small. The sun didn't win anything. Guess what? That's, that's, fine. What I'm that's fine. That's fine. But that's you what teams see. changed them into. That's what everybody changed it into. That's what you can't build anomaly the norm, bro. Like you yeah, can't just yeah. Bro, that's what what is the anomaly? Say. What is what is the norm? The norm now. The norm now is getting on a fast break, running to the corners in the elbow. No, it's not. Every team does not do, and not every team does not do that. Who except for well, the that, 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 Name me a contender that does that. Name me a contender that does that. Boston, Name me anyone. Uh, Celtics. Boston Celtics. All of them. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many championships does Boston Celtics have won? Thank you. You only the making Warriors. my point stronger. The what contender is left? What champion? Oh, what yeah, contender the is doing the this? The Warriors, the Warriors, the Warriors, Warriors literally. Bro, Steph, Steph, bro, Steph Curry and them, and you telling me they have a wide open shot. Steph Curry is doing this. We talking about the greatest shoot. That's an anomaly, my guy. So, That's wait, an wait, anomaly. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because there's an interview with Earl Watson. He was talking about Phoenix Go Suns, ahead. right? That's my mm-hmm. team. He was talking about the Phoenix Suns. He said when he got there, they saw the Warriors and how they were playing basketball. And the mm-hmm. owner came to him and said, 
we need to shoot 33s a game. He looked at him and said, with who? This has nothing to do with Adam Silver. It's more right. you can blame but Steph Curry for this more than you can no, Adam Silver. Yes, I and, and I understand. My fault. Go ahead. Understand, My fault. No, no, I understand you you point out players back in the day that were were skilled, but those are all stars, all time greats. What I'm saying is top to bottom, the league is way more skilled. If you take the ninth guy on a team from the 80s or 90s, and you take the ninth guy on a team. From now, he busts his ass. Pause. <laughs> he, Bro, he I'm was, not making no, that argument. What, what but that's what we've been about? saying. That's what you we're saying. It has it's to do with Adam thing. Silver. That's what I'm trying to get y'all. Y'all just throwing out these, just talking about. That's what we're saying. That's what changed that's what the league. I'm saying. That we're saying that changed the league. No, not Adam Silver. Who changes? Changed the league, bro. You can literally look it up. I said, I don't have the information. Right, and once rules. again, I said I don't have the rules on me to say directly because usually I will have this stuff on me to so, I so thought I can the, memorize the rules. The rules in basketball are the rules in basketball. They okay. didn't like he didn't so, he didn't come so up and the say the rules in basketball always been the rules in basketball. So the, the same guys are taking no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like the, the rules that you're talking about that change. This these same play it's 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 been here since 2014. David Stern left in 2014. There was no hand checking. There were, three seconds was in here. Like so, what rule did Adam Silver change that that that's making basketball unable to watch? I just don't I don't see it. Because it was watchable, of course. A charge is still a charge. He didn't make a four point shot. Like you know, what I'm saying is it, I don't know the rule on the court. Now you can okay. argue that Adam Silver, you know. Okay, so Maybe what? Okay, let me just ask you that pertains to the question. What did Adam Silver do to make the game bad? What did he do Since to make the game bad? No, what what makes him a bad commissioner? You said he was. I, th I, I think said he, he was. I, I think, Everybody, no, I think said he was. It's what you it's what you said earlier. I think he's not marketing the, the product the right way, but that has nothing to do with the way the games mm -hmm. play. No, why That's is the game? Why, the game so you telling me the game because, is just because this what? But guess what? Guess what? The way that the NBA is being played right now is the same way that college games are being played. You go to a high school game, it's being played. There are videos where you saw it. It's a famous video where you say, when this dude says Steph Curry is messing up the league, and, and it's just like big men shooting threes, and he's like, look at this. Like, it's not just exclusive to the NBA. Basketball is being played this way now. It has nothing to do with Adam Silver, the way the game is being played. Now, the way it's marketed, okay, i give you that. That's true, but there's only I'm, so I'm, much I'm, he can control. I'm, he can't control I'm, the way the game's being played, bro. Tr trust me, sir. Trust me. He didn't add an extra time. foul. No, okay. <laughs> he no, didn't. he didn't add. He didn't add yeah, none of that stuff that he's talking about. But this, the, the truth is still the truth. If the if, I'm telling you right now, bro, if the guys that already complained about this game, that complained about this game when Kobe was alive, he complained about how. Go ahead. I've never heard a, I've never heard a player complain about the rules of Look the game and the way it's played now. No, no. I, I've heard it ain't about oh. play about the ways the game's played. I've never heard a player say Adam Silver changed rules and, and just now the game is just trash. Like I've never heard that. Before. No, but it's still under Adam Silver's watch. Why okay, why the game just all of a sudden just changed under Al, Adam Silver? No, but it was never no, that it, way under David Cern. Tell me now what you can, that. now what you can say what you can say is you can say that maybe Adam Silver Silver should change the rules, but he hasn't changed any rules about where the games play to make it trash. Okay, if you want to go and say, all oh, right, maybe he should do something about defense. He's not a product. He's, he's not a. He's, he's not the reason low management the way low why these guys got to play sixty five games. That's the money, but that doesn't have anything to do. No, with, no, 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 no. The, no, the no. games being played. Mm -mm. So he's not a reason why the uh the main star is not on uh floor. That's the money. That's no, the money. Yeah, has none of this money. Bruh, after, bro, Popovich after, bruh. was doing that long before it became popular. What are you like, talking about? No, no, it was not. No, it was Greg not. Greg Popovich was doing that long before it came and, and, became and guess, popular. And, 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 and guess they were who winning was, championships. <laughs> what championship were they winning under Greg? They only won one. The Spurs? They only won, they won. one. Tim won five rings. No, no. I know what Tim won. He won five total. But he just started doing that recently at the toward, uh, end of Tim Duncan's career. They was not winning. They were not. They did that. It worked for one season, my guy. It worked for one season. 
Bruh, these are look, facts. Look, if you don't believe man, me, go look, go if look you, at Tim. If you, go look at Tim. Go look at Tim Duncan in the early 2000s. Go look at Tim Duncan through the mid 2000s and tell me what's their load management under right. David Stern. But but they but Duncan won two near the end of his career. All I'm one, saying two, is that two one, rings. Two, rings. two rings. They, they were not doing no load management in no 2007. Check, bro. You can literally not look this up Greg right Popovich. They were, remember, they were not. You remember when they? You remember? Remember they outlawed it. They, they, the reason why no, they it. tried to change the rule is because no, of Greg Popovich. And he put any single right. moment no, that no, fight. He literally, he literally, literally to a was public still, airport. Name, name yeah. one. Name one player that was on load management in 2007. Bruh, it wasn't. No, no, no. Just look it up. Eddie, you can look it up. You got all the time in the world. Go look it up and tell me one player that Bruh. was on load management. Was Tony Bruh. Parker on load management? Was he Mon was uh Mon it wasn't on called load management? management back then. They Everybody were just giving the players off. What are you talking about? These guys were playing the game. Look at their games. What are y'all talking I about? Know. I don't know. Bro. Hey, but this is this what I, I want to say. Adam this is how I, I, I want to this, this oh, close it, bro. Right this is how I want to close it. Yeah. Hey, man. Go ahead, so we can move on. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know look, what y'all talking about. I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm putting the money on Adam Silver. Go he ahead. gave these people too much money, and the incentive to play all the time isn't there. And you gave them. They like, huh? What? What you mean, gave them? What you negotiate? You, you, you didn't right, give bruh, them nothing. Adam, Adam them. Bruh, bruh. The only ones complaining is the fans. Is a few of the fans. The but, players ain't real, bro. The players complaining because they ain't getting their way. They don't want to play any games. They just want the money. They just want the money. But I'm saying, by giving them so much money, you incentivize them. How do the players play. get paid, man? Bro, bro, they get paid to play. No, no, no. How do they you, get paid? What do you, you said the, You said the fans are complaining. If you're, yeah. if, if the fans are complaining, sir, that is the problem. That is going to be bruh, a problem bruh, for you. you talk, no, 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 no. A product the contract, team. a man told me one time, the contract's going up regardless. The TV deal's yep. going up regardless. Yep. Yep. And guess and what? They are. You can do all the complaining you want. James Harden going to be a Supermax player until he retired. You can do oh, all so, the complaining you so want. After this, he's he going to be a Supermax player. <laughs> bruh, and when it's all said and done, James Harden, Damian Lillard, going to have made over $300 million, close to half a billy, over their career in this NBA text. And guess what? NBA because they Hall of Fame players. Because you because you give me that much money, because you give that much money, my incentive to play isn't always there. Dame if I want to leave all the games unless he's not hurt. Okay, I'll go back to Harden, bro. What about Kawhi? Bro, I'm telling you, I my incentive Kawhi's been to hurt. play. Bro, if Kawhi feels just a little knack, he's not gonna play, bro. Stop Chris Middleton it. is a Stop max it. player. Bro, stop <laughs> it. Stop you it. Get, you know, you know that's one play. Give me another. One. Give me okay. another. One. Give me another. One. Stop. We're not gonna go another through the whole NBA. Give me another How player. many you gotta we, get? You gotta get a play. hundred players. I give you a player for player. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I got bro. Justin Tatum. Give me another one. I'm telling you. Give me another one. I mean, you're Give me another one. I got Joker. Give me another one. Yeah. All right. What are you saying? I can go back and list the max player. That's what I'm gonna do. Give me two more. That's right now. That's Give me two man there right now. Two. LeBron James, Anthony Davis. So what's that prove? That's what I'm saying. You just said, "Give me two max players." You talking about three clubs that's always hurt? That's why he needs to be on low management. Three clubs, bruh. bruh. Three clubs. You give two max players bruh. right the now. Point is, the point is the point. The point is, bruh. If give, I'm give that point so we can if move I'm on. getting, if I'm getting paid topic. a certain amount of money, I'm not incentivized to play. I'm making the money regardless. Okay. I can go to All Star Game as long as I don't get hurt real bad. I'm making the money regardless. I just got to go up there, run up the court. I'm out. Okay. I'm out. All there right. you go. I suggest y'all do more research on Adam so. You too. <laughs> I I done it. That's why. The, that's why the same. The same I know. Game. I know. I know. You need to do a little bit more. The, the same. I mean, I'm trying, the same. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to you got your research. The same hey. fans. Hey. Tell hey. me what. Tell me one Hall of Fame player that had that hasn't complained about this game. Tell me the fans ain't complained about the but game. But complain, complain about the game, complain about the rule changes are two different things. Remember that you can't just I go back that, and forth like I, that. I said that's one particular thing. I named numerous things. That's but you're not the thing. That's okay. the thing. Okay, that's the thing. thing. No, that, that was your the thing. thing. 
no, no, that was definitely not mine. But you got it. Okay. And uh oh my lay or whatever. <laughs> this uh I still don't even know who this artist is. Is it am I saying it right? Oh my lay. I don't know. I ain't uh, never heard of this guy. But over the weekend, this uh this artist, I'm gonna say oh my lay. If I'm messing it up, I'm sorry. But the artist uh goes on, well, it had a concert. One of the fans gets picked out the uh, crowd and she leaves her boyfriend and then has the weird face like when she just like oh called on stage like oh yeah yeah you get away from me i got chosen and then proceeds to go on stage get twerked on head by the pelvis <laughs> i think i've seen a few pelvic thrusts i think i'm just adding that one up adding on to that to make it sound good <laughs> but it, it was bad man it was worse than uh kiki palmer and uh usher by a mile <laughs> even that was bad too but uh then the next day yeah i think it was the next day uh she sent out like an apology video or whatever and i forgot uh the haven boy uh what's his name kai connect kai Sinead. Yeah, Kai Connect. Whatever. Sinead. I know who that's Buddy the, is. I just can't get his name. Beating you up, boy. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I, I need to drink some. It'll probably help. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Show Buddy love. I don't know about the girlfriend part. Of it. That was kind of weird. <laughs> but the money part is uh, through Buddy a couple of dollars. More than a couple of dollars. I forgot how much it was. But Shawty like really played herself and thought that was cool. And a lot of girls were saying, Oh, she was wrong at doing that. But I was like, hmm, not not so long ago, y'all was praising Kiki Palmer for the the same behavior. I'm just saying, only difference is she ain't gonna stay. And she ain't been over in front of Usher. It's, it's, if somebody want to be technical about it, but still, you still got to see through dress with your ass out. <laughs> but I didn't want to know y'all quick thoughts on this, man. I just said for this, I'm like, bro, the game is the game. Shawty played herself. And if I always said this, man, Big Bank, take Lil Bank. It is what it is. I like you, bro. If you can take take her away from me, dog, she was never my girl. That's always been my model. If you can take her away from me, she was never my girl. It was just my turn. That's it. Now it's your turn. It, the game is the game. It is what it is. Go ahead, I don't feel like this, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no ain't way. No ain't, no way. way. Ain't, no way. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That I'm going to sit up here, spend money to bring not only my girl, but myself to this man's concert. And nine times out of ten, his girl wanted to go see that concert, not him. We get to the concert, and he giving your girl the eye. And he gives her that eye. She lock eyes with him. <laughs> and, and you know what's crazy? The craziest part about it, if you look at the different videos, she literally got out the way from him. Like, oh, I'm not with him no more. She literally like scooted over to where she was by herself before he brought her on the stage, right? And then she's on, she goes backstage with him and has a silhouette of herself grinding on him jumping on him, Ooh. almost kissing on the man. Ooh. I mean, bro, the amount of disrespect that we saw in that video was insurmountable. It was terrible, bro. It was like worse than Usher. We've been saying it, it was worse than what we talked about a couple podcasts ago with Usher and Alicia Key. It was about 10 times worse, bro. She grinding on him. I'm talking from the front and from the back. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? 
Like she I didn't now you do that with her at the show. Mm. She for the screeps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she for the screeps, mm -hmm. like 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 my boy Pluto said. She for the screeps, man. And hey, big shout out to Kasi Nat for not only bringing that brother on this platform, letting him speak his piece, putting him on blind dates during his show and giving him an extra 20 bands, okay? Just to let him rock out, just for the cause. Hey, Casanet did what he was supposed to do, man, on some real live player partner thing. Didn't even know the man, player partner, real talk. Did what he was supposed to do, hey, and got him down with some real hotties and some real baddies who probably would not, and I'm gonna say probably, because I don't know how these girls are getting down right now. But probably would not. Oh yeah, you do. Uh, they, yeah, I'm they, just they going. But they hey, going. They going, <laughs> and they showing. But one thing, man, at least Casanet put that man on his platform and put him in a different light. You know, got him with some baddies and some hotties, man, to uh, you know, build his self esteem a little back, bit back up, get him back right. You know what I'm saying? Because the way old girl did him, bro. And he and, and and it was rumors going around they was together seven years. That was a lie. That was only together by eight months. But still, you invest all this time in a person that's that quick to to totally disrespect you and disregard you for a, a, a quick hype. You not next up, shorty. You was never gonna be next up, shorty. You were just a a, a a piece for the moment, and you just embarrassed yourself. And try to embarrass that man, but it ain't work. Now look at you. Copping please on Instagram. Terrible, my dog. That's all I gotta say about the fan. That's all I gotta say. You up online. You got it. hey, hey, question. <clears throat> Does this change if it was a bigger star? Like, let's say if it was, I don't know. I'm glad you went there. I'm glad you I'm went glad there. You went there. Yeah. Let, let, let's oh, say if it was, uh, let's see, who, who's a, who, who a big star? Let's say if this was Michael Jackson, if he was still alive, right? I mean. I don't, I don't care who he is. I'm just asking, does it change? Does, does Buddy even get as mad if that's Michael Jackson up there? You Buddy know what I mean? Mad. Buddy one didn't look like he was mad. He was just like, I just wouldn't sit there. I don't know, man. <laughs> you going to wait for her to come back? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, no, I ain't doing all that. Bro. Like, bro, it's certain stuff that you shouldn't even have to talk about, bro. It should just be straight law that you should yeah. already know. If your girl don't even know that already, dog. Like, oh, okay. hey, well, he invited me up there. Hey, okay, you, yeah, it's it's certain thing that you already know. What about uh, what's what's uh, Chris Brown bring you up there? What what do you think Chris Brown bring you up there for? To be like, we about to hit one of these and all that. We about to do this on. <coughs> so, Man, so please. You let the girl go on stage at a concert? Let's say it's a concert she really want to go to. Would you let your girl go on stage? On stage? Hey, man, you make, hey, you make that choice. It all depends hey, on man, the is it Yes or no, would you let your girl go on stage if it's at a concert that she really wanted to go to? Who is on, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it can be like Beyonce. What if Beyonce called on stage? Uh, what if Chris like, Brown called on stage? Hey, you already know what Chris Brown whole motto is. You make so that do choice. You, do you let her go on stage? It ain't about me letting. It's about her choice. You got a choice to do whatever you want to do. But the, but don't get mad at my choice when I do next. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it played in the day. Most dudes say they can't keep it. I'm telling you, dog. Most dudes would not keep it playing. I can tell you, they'd be like, oh, man, I wouldn't even care. Oh, all that shit. I'm going to be ready to go up there and fight for it, bro. I'm like, hey, man, your woman your woman did it, not me. It is what it is. The game is the game, man. The game is the game. And the sooner that folks understand that the game don't change, man, it don't. I don't care what it is. Only the players. That is it. Okay. So here. Reverse, Beyonce call you on stage. That's different. Which is 
Hey, it's a double standard, man. It's a double standard. <laughs> hey, man, that's a double standard, man. Hey, I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the rules. Oh. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, baby, hold my beer. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. And I, don't, I wouldn't even go to no Beyonce concert. That's all. I don't even know. Like, bro, I, I seen like the old songs that I know, like Dangerously in Love. <laughs> I'm just saying, it wasn't even your idea to go right. Your girl says it's going to Beyonce concert. And they pull one of them joints from the BET Awards. She brings you up. Oh. Yeah, we just sit in the chair. Hey, man. That won't what be you doing? Enough. Nah, what's I the con- what what what's y'all conversation looking I, like? You I got four seconds to talk to your girl about this. I, I I can't make that move. Though. If I, if I if I do, but see at the same time they didn't even know what was going on. They just knew they was coming on stage. Now what I'm happened not, after? Yeah. Now if everybody knew, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Like only person that was like married up there was Magic Johnson. You see what he did? My eyes four. <laughs> I'm not looking at nothing. I'm out. You see me, babe. I'm looking straight. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm going by. I was like, boy, you could imagine them doing that in today's time, bro. That 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 would have been ooh, like, why she bring that married man up there, man? I was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> the only thing I'm gonna say, bro, the game is the game, bro. Folks just gotta understand That's that, bro. The game is the game. It's it doesn't matter. It's cool. When I, when I saw this man, I immediately thought, like, man, this was, yeah, man, I, I hate to be just jumping on the women like that, but this is her fault, man. Like, okay, when I saw the Usher situation at the Super Bowl, right? I, and of course, these are two celebrities, but and, and they entertainers, bro. They, they, they entertain. So I, I get that aspect, yeah. Of it. But Usher started that. Even if you go back as far as like Janet Jackson, no, right? I didn't start that. No, I'm saying he was he grabbed Alicia. Alicia didn't go do anything to him. He's he's he was the one that started the inappropriate behavior. Is what I mean. You go <laughs> yeah, back okay. as far yeah. as you go back as far as Janet Jackson. Anytime, any place, you bring a fan on stage, and it was almost R rated. Uh, but this situation, man, she got up there and like that dude was just holding her hand singing. She took it upon herself to dance on him. They go behind the curtain. She took it upon herself to drop to her knees. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, man. If for that dude, if I'm if I'm the dude in this situation, I probably would have just left. Probably just left, man. Like, cause especially if one of the things that I always look at when I see situations like this, I was like, I always wonder, like, man, what what are the dynamics of y'all relationship other than this? Because it doesn't look like it didn't look like this was the first time. Like, you know what I mean? Like he was shaking his head like, oh, here we go again. Like he wasn't shaking his head like he was shocked. He wasn't up there like, oh, my God, what are you doing? He was just shaking his head like. I knew this shit was gonna happen. <laughs> Every time I bring her to a concert, she do some shit like this. So I always, you know, look at the dynamics of it like that. And man, that's why you gotta pick the right people, man. And and you know, live your truth in your relationship, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure before he she got on that stage, all the signs were there for him that she would do something like this. He wasn't caught off guard. He knew it. Um, he knew that he could go left, but I don't know, man. It's just it's it's weird that this is becoming so popular now. Like literally, but, I, <laughs> but you know, seeing it almost I, every week. It might be a thing because like people weren't really recording at concerts a lot because you know cameras were trash. But now with the good camera phones and stuff like that, you can record it. But I've always like I'm I'm a big concert person. But I've always yeah. seen like the dances at the concerts, bro. You know what probably made this even worse? You know, like this obviously this is a Nigerian artist, right? And you already know like the African dances and music, bro. They be going <laughs> in. So you know what I'm saying? They probably go to a lot of Nigerian little shows and stuff like that. Bro, she probably go in all the time. 
dog. But this, 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 I don't know. I don't know. This, 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 this is wild. You know, this is wild. Your boyfriend in the stand. That's the conversation y'all got to have beforehand. My boy was shaking his head like, man, here we go with this again. Every time I take her somewhere. (laughs) You know, what that nigga said on the phone? What did he say, man? Every night I got to fight for my love. (laughs) (laughs) Man, listen here. They showed the camera on stage. They showed the camera right back on him. The camera, I'm telling you, bro, the camera wouldn't even uh, stand a chance seeing me because they'll see me walking out the door. I'm like, hey, man, the streets are cold. He probably shouldn't have been there with her in the first place, bro. And that's another thing. But hey, that's man, what I'm saying. Dude, he probably, but some dudes go, and they go to these concerts. I'm like, uh, I guess. I'm like, but hey, it is what it is. I'm like, hey, let this be a lesson to a lot of guys, man, which I know some guys are just some suckers. And be like, no, man, let her do her thing. It's just. Just they're just entertaining. So, okay, that's cool. I seen. It, it's also how you view. It's also how you view dancing though, too, bro. Okay, hey, also, you know, I didn't see the video. I didn't see the video. Let's just uh, put it out. Oh no, no, no! I didn't I, see the video. I didn't see the video. There's no, no, a difference I, between. Uh, 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 there's a difference between an artist bringing somebody on stage, and I guess you call it serenading them, then. An artist bringing somebody on stage and you faking like you giving a blowjob behind the curtain like that is way different <laughs> than yes, anything you, we've ever named. You allowed yeah, that I, all I, I never, I never see. I didn't see it. I didn't. See I know it. you didn't see it, but what? But the way he described, would you allow your girl to go up there? Now, if you see your girl do all that, what you doing? Oh, we probably gonna start our OnlyFans. That's the first thing we gotta do. Man, we about to capitalize, baby. Man. We about to make some money in here. Man, I'm telling you, but right nah, now, nah, man. nah, 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 nah. You can't, you can't, can't do that, bro. And then I can't be the guy on camera. I can't. Oh. I can't be trending <laughs> like that. I can't. Bro, they trend they gonna that, roast bro. you, boy. They gonna roast you, bro. I'm going into a job interview. Everybody on their phone, like, hey, is this you? Yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, boy. And then, and then when they you. It's like when you see folks talking like this, and you don't even know what they're talking about. You're like, oh, I, didn't that. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to yeah. be that guy, man. I don't, don't, he was serenading her. She was serenading yeah. him. No, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be women that say, Oh, you insecure and all that stuff. Hey, I, I'm telling you, bro, I let the game be the game, bro. It is what it is, but I'm telling you, some things as a man, you should just should not accept, dog. You are a man. <laughs> It's, listen here. Do not be that guy. That's all the thing I'm gonna say. Just do not be that guy. And trust me, it's gonna be some guys out here. Hey man, and you should just let a woman be them. Them be the type of dudes that that tell a girl every morning, "Grand rising queen, grand rising." <laughs> they ain't get no women, man. They man ain't get no women. Any dudes are straight suckers, man. So don't be that guy. Don't be that guy hitting the girl up, good morning, beautiful, sending that 20 times and she never responded. Them them type of guys, you go, queen. They hit you up only for reassurance and let, so you can let them know that they pretty. <laughs> there's, all, there's all them guys there for, man. I, I have seen it over and over. And trust me. You want you you know the guys. There's plenty of guys out there. I ain't. You, I know. I ain't gonna even go there. I'm gonna leave it alone, man. Mm. I'm gonna do this one real real quick. Just the NFL come by. Y'all just give me a name. Uh, just who you expect? Who you uh think is? Matter of fact, if you can just name one player. Ooh, I don't know. Just anybody you want to see in the combine, just really. And I really just, of course, I want to see all my Alabama boys perform. But I'm really, really intrigued on uh, seeing Terry on Arnold, which is one of my guys, uh, perform. DeHaven. 
Stop it. Any one of your guys in the combine, anyone just name one guy that you want to see because the NFL combine week. So just anybody that you uh want to see show up just real I quick. See, I want to see uh Malik, man. I want to see Malik Neighbors, man. I want to see what he going to do in the combine. Uh, I want to see if he can actually show out. I want to see if uh Marvin is actually going to pop up. He's not going to work out. Something. I, I know. I just said that. I want to see him yeah. walk and do something. But you already know, man, we got these guys that's uh, – they feel like they too big, man. They too good for the combine. You know, you got your your uh, Caleb. Uh, Caleb, uh, from yeah. US, man, he, he talking like he not finna throw no passes and all this, man. And that's the thing that throws me off of Caleb Williams, bro. It's like, dude. Well, uh, to, to be fair, that's a lot of the guys that be doing that in the draft. But Some Caleb the was taking it a little too over the top. T- Caleb is literally sitting up here acting like um, he's too good to throw. He wants a piece of the franchise. He wants this amount of that, money. That was a legend, man. That was a legend. That was a legend. I'm not going to hold that against him. I, 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 he, t- wants some, he, wants some, he wants some big money off the NCAA game. Listen, bro. Hey, I don't you listen. that guy? Hey, man. Listen. Listen. He's not even going to be in the game, but he probably be on the cover. Whatever. But this man, is what I'm going to say, man. Man, just pick a guy so I can move Malik. <laughs> I, I definitely want to see Malik. I want to see Trey Benson from uh from Florida State. I want to oh, see. In there. He's not going? Wait, what are you talking about? I thought Benson was going this year. You said Trey Benson? Is it Troy Benson? Troy Benson from uh from uh Florida State, the running back. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I'm I don't know. I'm thinking of uh a guy that played for us at Alabama and wide receiver. My fault. My no, fault. no, 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 my, no. My I'm fault. My fault. Benson from Florida State. I want to yeah. see him. I want to see yeah, a quarterback bad. from Florida State if he's healthy enough to actually be able to compete. Oh, you talking um, about Jordan Travis? Yeah, I want to see Travis, man. No, he ain't playing. He ain't about a quarterback, man. That man got a the whole league almost came. I out. said yeah. if he's healthy enough to compete this year, I don't know. By the time of the draft, he may be. You know how the, how they doing with the medical stuff. But what I'm saying is, uh, definitely Malik Neighbors. I definitely want to see him and see how he uh matches up. Oh, an old boy from Colorado. Uh, that's coming out, man. Uh, what's his name? Quinn. Uh, God, Lee, man, do with the dreads, man. The wide receiver. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just forgot his name. I want to see what he does in the actual uh, draft combine this year. But uh, those are my two picks, man. I want to see these receivers come out and show out and uh, show up and show out because uh, you know the big the big talk of the day is Marvin Harrison Jr. If he shows up uh, in the combine, which he doesn't have to necessarily, um, he's potentially, in my opinion, should be the number one pick in the draft. I think he should go to Chicago. I think Chicago should go on and keep uh, Justin Fields around and go on and draft this guy, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., and that's going to change the whole trajectory of Chicago Bears. All right, I'll learn. Go ahead. Give me one guy real quickly. <clears throat> I'll think the same thing. I want to see uh, Malik Neighbors. He's really uh, picked it up since he first got to college. I think um, he – He's become a more dynamic runner. He's increased his speed. Um, he has good height. Um, I want to see what he does. I'm hoping, regardless of what he does, he's still a first rounder to me. Um, right after Marvin Harrison, um, I don't want him to go to New York. I really want him to go to. If they keep Justin Fields, I like him to go to Chicago. But we'll see. But that's what I'm really interested in seeing. I, I like this trajectory. Says who you got? Yeah, the one player I want to see, who I'm really rooting for, man, to improve his draft stock is Michael Penix Jr. Uh, got the injury concerns. We all know that. Um, I think he's one of the more complete quarterbacks in, in the draft. Um, it, as far as skill set, I mean, you talk about being NFL ready, but those in, those injury concerns, you know, some mocks probably, I think they, I've seen a mock with him like in the second round. Uh, but I think he has the most 
uh, in the draft approved. I think this, I mean, uh, in the combine approved, I think this combine can do a lot for him. If he comes up, uh, he looks healthy. He puts up some good numbers, man. We can see him move up draft boards, uh, probably more so than uh, any other quarterback I know. Um, so Penix, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Penix to, to come go to the combine and show out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the show for this week. Uh, uh, Quentin had to uh, head out earlier, so shout out to him for uh, dropping by for the time that he was on here. But, of course, he'll be on here next week, hopefully, as the lawyer. Him and the lawyer just you know they come on and then they just take a hiatus and then they come back home, man. But it's for for jobs and all that, so it's all good. Can't can't be mad at them for that. But as usual, everybody just shout out their Instagram or whatever what they got going on, and then we up out of here. We'll start with the hey. Hey man, you already know it's your boy Dave, man, aka DJ Ghost Plato, man. Hey man, we turning up this year. Another one, another one, another one. Every week, bro, we do this shit big. Shout out to the guys, man. Shout out to my boy Brinsky Sharp, man, doing this shit, man. Building a platform for the brothers to come on here every week and be great. Salute. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, y'all can um find me on IG. ESG underscore AEA underscore DCS. I'm not on IG right now. Personally, I'm taking a hiatus till about April. But, uh, you know, any questions you have, when I get back, I'll see it. I'll answer it. I'm also not taking any legal advice, giving out any legal advice right now. But if you want to talk sports law or sports, anything, just drop a comment uh, under the video and I'll respond to it. Uh, shout out to B Sharp for the podcast. Um, shout out to the Haven for the new uh, new opportunity he's embarking on. I don't know if he's told the crowd yet what he's doing, but when he reveals it, oh, uh, he already uh, told him. He, okay, where well, he's well, he working for the Braves is already. Right. Shout out to the Haven with the Braves and shout out for Tez, bro, just being a consistent staple on the podcast. And having some valid points, because Brinsky be talking some trash, bro. I appreciate you, Ted. I appreciate <laughs> you, dog. Oh, man. Ted. How you going to diss a man on his own shoe? God, <laughs> dog, bro. Okay. It, was, it wasn't a diss, bro. Man, it was a diss. It's okay. You my dog. <laughs> yeah, man, Ted. Frodo IMG. Frodo Imagery. At Frodo Imagery on all platforms. Oh, man, I just want to say again, thank y'all boys for having me, man. Literally, uh, it's tough to find an outlet to talk sports, man, when, you, when you're when you opinionated person, man. And y'all welcome me because I know sometimes the takes I have get up under skin. Uh, but, uh, man, I just, I'm just grateful that y'all got a platform, man, for me to come and say what I want to say, so. Appreciate everybody uh, for being on the show. And as always, I'm Brisky Shaw with the Shaw Shooter Podcast. We drop every Wednesday, every single Wednesday. If we don't um, drop Wednesday, very rarely we drop on Thursday. But shout out to the guys, shout out to Haven, shout out to Quinn, shout out to all the Tess, anybody that has uh, came on the show. Shout out to my wife. Uh, Shout out to uh my baby Justice and uh rest in peace to uh my wife's uh grandfather who passed uh yesterday. So and uh my uh in laws uh praying for them. And as always, shout out to the four six. You already know that's home. And I definitely gotta do this one. Shout out to the haters, man. Shout out hey, to the man. haters, cause hey, they boy. Hey, y'all are some real deep. Hey, man. Just some hate, man. Just know hey, they're going to really hate what's coming up. They're going to really hate what's coming up. They're going to really hate what's coming up. So, y'all stay tuned. You remember when I kept telling y'all the interviews were coming? Oh, we got a big one. Got a, I got a big one 
coming up and it's going to be a special interview so we'll see how these haters feel about that i ain't gonna say no name but just no word travels fast i'll just leave it let leave it at that but as always man appreciate everybody keep supporting the pod like comment and subscribe to the podcast thank you to everybody and you already know as always f auburn roll tide